Oh, what's going on? It's Zambian Day 138. Welcome back to another episode of fucking Bullshit World. Today we're joined by, of course, Brian, and today we're with, with a special guest, uh, fucking Astrobit, where fuck, say your name, fuck you. Um, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Astro 8 but I'm a guy that draws cartoons and plays video games. It is me. Yeah. <laughs> Le Epic. Brian, say oh, some words man. so people know you're not dead. Who, me? I think he's dead. <laughs> I think I'm not dead. Brian's dead. Brian's dead now. Let's I'm not go. Dead. Uh, it's okay. I'll take, his, I'll take his place. <laughs> oh, cool. I'm being replaced. Uh, nobody cares about me! Fucking fuck you. I don't give a shit. Fuck you. I hope you die. Uh, anyway. Let's see. Uh, now, I don't remember if I mentioned this in the last video, but actually, I think I did. But you know what? Since Billy's here now, uh, I feel like doing this again. Now, you've, you've played this game, right? You've played Wind Waker. I guess I did. Um, I played it on the Wii U when it came out originally. I think it's a good game. I have the GameCube game also. Alright, cool. So, uh, points to anybody who knows what I'm referencing by saying this, or who I got it from. This guy here. This be the bomb shop. Take a look here. Come on now. How's a kid like you going to pay for these? You're dreaming. Look, this can't you read? Do these look like something you can afford, huh? Listen to me, boy. You're out of your mind. You can't pay for these, so scram. Fucking... So yeah, this guy's like, you can't buy bombs. They're too expensive. Fuck you. My theory is that these aren't bombs. They're... They're bottles of, of meth. <laughs> okay. Crystal meth. <laughs> So that's Ooh. why they're so expensive. Yeah. And this theory makes a lot more sense later on in the game. So, anyway, yeah. Without that, yeah. without further ado, let's go ahead and carry on with the game now. Okay. Also, fucking pig. This one, he shits. Oh, yeah, the one that ports? Yeah, there we go. Fuck you, little girls. It's an officer. Oh, yeah, those girls are assholes, too. It's an officer. I, I remember, it's an officer. I remember them being jerks to you, like, right yeah, when you get on the cool. island. Oh, there's a boat. Let's go. Let's go, boat. You're my best friend. Oh, man, the great oh, sea. Bullshit. All right, let's go. Woo! We're we'll going on a new adventure. Let's go. So is Brian really dead? Like, I don't. I haven't yeah, heard. Yeah, no, I'm, dead. no, I'm just. All right, you know what? It happens. It happens, man. Oh, I love this music. This brings me nostalgia. Holy shit! Have you ever beaten this before? Question. Yes, I've beaten this game on multiple occasions. I've beaten... I never beat the original game. I, I have. It's long. It's a very, very long game. <laughs> yeah. How long? It goes on for an eternity. Oh, look. That Honestly, thing. this is one... This is my favorite Zelda game. That's why I chose it for this Let's Play. Yeah, I need to go back into playing it again, but, like, because it's on my Wii and my Wii U's unplugged and I'm never going to play it again, I, it makes it hard for me to do that. Let's go head over to this island because there's some shit to do. They were to put it on the Switch, I'd buy in a heartbeat. And I think it would work great on the Switch. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. I want this game on the Switch so fucking bad. It's yeah. literally the number one thing I want. Exactly. Oh, there's an island. Uh, that's the thing I liked about this game is that exploring the islands because you never know what you're going to find. There's a lot yeah, of grass on that fucking, island. It's fun. You get to be a lawnmower in this game. <laughs> a lawnmower. Great. Yeah, true. You get to be a fucking lawnmower. That is lawnmower. very true. But yeah, or the an reason. lawnmower. Yeah. The reason this is my favorite Zelda game is because it was the first one I ever played, and it was like, I have a lot of nostalgia for it. How the fuck do I go down here? I haven't played this game. Go to the baby mode. The baby yeah. mode. Right. I had, um, I remember a long time ago, I wanted to buy it on the game people, um, oh no, that's not good. Died. Yeah. What the fuck? Why? Who puts fucking ball sacks in this fucking cave? Is that what that is? Oh man! Nut sacks. Oh. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna hatch and turn into face huggers. I just I just went to Twitter. We're in Twitter now. Oh, shooters! I like the shoe design in this game too, and the combat's pretty decent too. The, that's another thing. Like the combat in this game, I think is simple enough for it to be everyone's first Zelda game. It's great for that. There are certain things about Breath of the Wild that I like with the combat, but I think they they simplified it a bit more because of having different weapons. I think. What yeah. I was gonna say though is that um. Back when I was really into this game, and I would have, if this remake would have came out a lot sooner, I would have, like, lost my mind, but back in, like, I think it was, like, seventh grade for me, um, I was collecting games, I would, I would go to, uh, I would go to swap meets, I would go to flea markets to get, like, old GameCube games for cheap, and I remember, um, I really wanted Wind Waker, and I remember on eBay, I was like, you know what, 
I'm just gonna get a copy of it from there. And I remember instead of buying the game, I bought the strategy guide for the original GameCube game, and I still have it. Damn, that's and my friend, my brother had a friend in uh, high school who had a bunch of GameCube games, and he like gave me, I inherited like all those games, and I got Melee. I got, like, Star Fox Assault, and I got this game. And I was like, oh, cool. It was just a disc, though. That's cool. So, oh, so. ironic, like, <laughs> coincidentally, um, not intentionally trying to get it, I had the strategy guide to go with this game, so. Oh, oh fuck yeah. Do I get out of here? I just want to get the fucking heart piece and get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, that's cool. I, the yeah, first... I have a warm spot for this game. This game just, uh, back, I think I might have talked about this in one of the episodes, but didn't go too much into it, but yeah, yeah this was, I, th I think the first GameCube game I ever played was Mario Kart Double Dash, which I have a lot of nostalgia for those games anyway. Those good, good choice, games. good choice. Um, I wanted to mention, and now I'm starting to, like, I was a bit shy, now we're talking about the stuff that resonates with me, oh man, I'll never shut up. Oh yeah, dude, we, about... fucking, we can talk about whatever you want, man, it's great. I know, no, I'm warming up to it, because, like, um, I have my own YouTube channel, and I don't, I haven't been, like, I'm a lot of time, basically, you mentioned Double Dash, um, I didn't know Double Dash was even a thing that really existed, I know it's funny to say that, because the first time I ever played or even heard of it was, um, I... At school, um, there was a teacher that was basically like my one-to-one -one aide, because I'm just, for those who don't know, I'm disabled. Yes, and a one-to-one -one aide is basically a teacher that is like your personal teacher that like follows you, like wherever you go and helps you with, you know, like stuff in your backpack, you know, and so on. Wow, he just drowned. Um, yeah, he just died. I just so murdered a man in cold person, blood. Th this person that I, um, that was my teacher, I, she was like my teacher from like my entire middle school career, and we became very close, and her friend, and the cool thing is that her son and her daughter, because I would go over to their house and like hang out with them, we became very like personal with these people. Um, they were huge gamers, and they had like the Xbox, the PS1, the N64. They had everything. They were really cool. And um, when I went over to their house, they had the GameCube, and they're like, "Hey, do you want to play Mario Kart?" I'm like, "There's a Mario Kart game on the GameCube." Like, I had no idea. Oh yeah, and that's was, like, like fucking. I think before then. Uh... The only yeah. Mario Kart game I had played was was a Wii, which great game. Fucking Mario Kart Double Dash was that first GameCube game I played, and it was just fucking great. Like I want to go back oh, to yeah, this it's now. Wonderful. Like uh, yeah. the way I ended up playing those games as a kid, because the first game console I remember earliest to memory was was the Wii, mm. and I played all the oh, fucking yeah. Wii games. I played Animal Crossing. It was great. Uh, I had oh, yeah. a neighbor who doesn't live nearby me anymore, but I had a neighbor who uh, had, like, a few GameCube games. And the one I remember borrowing from him the most was Wind Waker, and that's where my nostalgia for this game resonates the most. Yeah, no, definitely. I totally get you. But going back to my Double Dash story, yeah. <laughs> um, it was it kind of blew my mind to realize that, like, wait, there are two... You can have two characters per part? Like, I had no idea that you could... Um, and it was just a perfect party game because, like, there were a lot of people that were in that house that were, you know, just sort of hanging around and like the fact that we could do four players with like two people per car and there was a lot of teamwork and like communication with that game oh that was it yeah, like blew me cool. away i was like this is great <laughs> yeah i fucking when i was switch, a kid you can switch drivers like in the middle of race I'm like what fuck why is this fucking thing not working i hate the wind waker i'm not gonna lie like in terms of hate like it. controlling it it's so annoying uh, yeah, I can say I can, <laughs> I can see how it was more annoying in the original version. Uh, in the original version, you, you didn't have like the fucking sail that controls the wind for you, so it's really annoying. Oh, yeah, no, no, I totally know what you mean. But what I was gonna say is, um, oh yeah, the bombs too. The bomb I remember um, when I played this game. Um, when I when I got my GameCube copy of it, that was given to me for my friend, uh, my brother's friend. Um, we, my brother, my friend of mine who we were really close with, had a link cable, and I had a Game Boy, I original Game Boy Advance. Oh, I remember those. Was... Fuck, those were always, when I was a kid, those were always, like, I always wonder what the fuck those were. Like, the Tingle it's Tuner in the, in the original version, I was always curious what the fuck that was. Yeah, it, it was a very underused peripheral. It wasn't, it was not very, it wasn't <laughs> compatible with very many games, and, um, I think the one that everybody remembers the most was probably its use in Four Swords Adventures with it's a wonderful, still one of the best multiplayer games for the GameCube. If you have the hardware to play it on, like if you have 
the Game Boy Advances, you have the link cables, you have the game. By the way, getting a copy of that game is, like, nowadays, like, that's the thing about GameCube games and N64 games is that they are as expensive as as more as modern games, like newer games today, like, they're fucking expensive. <laughs> like, they, you know, like, I mean, it's hard to really hunt for those on, on eBay or any sort of online site to get a good deal for them because they're just so expensive. Um, I... Mario, like if you're gonna copy oh, Mario Kart Double Dash. Oh, I wanna read dialogue. We, all right, Ryan, you haven't talked much. I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. I, I'm just trying to hold up carry fine. on there. Fox! Fox! Is that you? Yeah. It is. I'm pleased to see you're okay. This guy's cool. I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. And your sister, is she. Yeah, she's yeah. fucking dead. He's okay with it. Is that so? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's like he's lying. <laughs> well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. Yeah, she hung. I have an yeah. idea, Fox. Mm -hmm. Would you like to meet our chieftain? Chieftain. Yeah. Chieftain. He goes. He goes. Hi -ya, hi -ya. <laughs> it's settled then. I'll fly on ahead. And let everyone know you're coming. Fuck you. I have wings. I'm better than you. <laughs> you know what's really funny about this room. game is that when Twilight Princess HD came out. People were really upset of the fact that it didn't look very different. Like, yeah, this I looks, know, that's This one is, like, thing, incredibly, yeah. like, this is a huge upscale. Or not huge, but, like, this is a much better upscale it than is. the original game that Twilight Princess was to the Wii game. You know what I mean? Or the, or the GameCube version of it. This game is, like, 90% blue. Well, I mean, but, like, look at the lighting. <laughs> and, like, look, I know it's... Oh, yeah, when you look like away the from the water, it's like, oh, fuck, it's it, look so at this good. shit. Beautiful like this could be a this could be a Wii U game, like even like a standalone Wii U game Wii U game that was released today. You know, not like if this was a remake, but yeah, here we are. This shit. Yeah, but like when Twilight Princess H D came out, I was like, what's the difference? Like I, I can hardly see anything that was changed, you know, like visually. Have you seen the cause of that fucking dragon at the top of our cavern? Okay. Ah, so you're farts, are you? Colin has told me all about you. A troubling fate, their tail, fuck, indeed. I insist that you let us know if there is anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. Except we won't do everything in our power until you actually help us deal with our fucking dragon problem, so fuck you. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon perched atop the mountain? So, I remember when this game came out, people really hated it because of the way it looked. Like a lot. Yeah, I heard about that. I've read about yeah, because that. like I understand the reason why, because people were promised, like not promised, but we thought we were gonna get something like Majora's Mask. Like it would have looked a lot darker. Yeah, and uh, there was the first reveal. Of this game was a very serious looking game. It looked more like what fucking yeah. what was it? Twilight Princess was supposed to be. It looked a lot more like that when they so first that revealed came it. after this game because like Nintendo were listening to. Nintendo rarely listens, I would say, but like they were looking at, they were looking at the complaints that people had with Wind Waker, where they were like, you know, it's childish, it's immature, by the way it looks, and basically they they, they did the complete opposite. They did a one ninety, like one ninety, and was like, oh, let's make something that closely resembles more of like Ocarina of Time, or like more serious and dark and gritty, and that's what they did. Because the tech demo that you're referring to was Link and Gandalf fighting, and that was like, that model of Link reminds me a lot of his, like, appearance in Soul Calibur 2 as a guest character, or even like it was in Melee. Mm. They might have used it, I think they used the same model, I know they did for Gandorf. Oh look, I got a fucking, I got a fucking delivery bag, now I can have big butts like them. Cool. You have a delivery bag. I can have big ass like them. <laughs> or a, you are the delivery boy. I am, the, I'm a delivery boy. <laughs> I, I love that. That just reminds me of that scene from Shrek where he's like, I'm a delivery boy. Yeah. Some shit. Anyway, yeah, Brian, Brian, what, what do you have to say about these fucking birds? They're different. Yeah. I don't like Oh, them. he's actually saying something now? Hold on, let me turn up his volume. <laughs> Brian, like, Brian, I honestly yeah. cannot hear yeah. him, for the love of me. It's fine. It's All right. I was just, play this I was just sitting I'm going to change that right now. Let's play this fucking mini game it's where you boom power. shoot. Boom it's power. It is! It is boom power! Holy shit! It's hill. It is boom oh power! Oh my god. Oh, we can't look hey at it. Hey man, you need to throw these envelopes in the, in the thing, man. You gotta fucking you gotta throw them in the Alright, uh, let's see if I'm <laughs> still pretty good at this. Fuck, I already fucked up. Shit. Boom power, and I'm shit. like, oh. 
I gotta use the fucking D-pad for this. Oh I, I've heart. been really- I've got really good at this when I was younger. Dude, power's here, You're that means very likely Hank is gonna be here somewhere. Fuck. Fuck! Where's fuck. Bobby? Where's Bobby? Bobby is, um, the- what was her name? Um, Come on, 20. Or 20. Kid. There we go. The little girl with the- with the bird beak. Um, like, in the little, like, the, the prince, I think? Like, the little kid? Like, that's Bobby. Great. Ah, uh, so that explains it. One rupee, yeah, you're gonna see him soon, money. cause like you're gonna have to talk to him after the dungeon, cause he gives you the orb. Yeah. What this Can dude? Get it? This dude who gives you the what? Huh? Okay. I'm referring to at the very end, um, after you beat the. Uh, oh, the oh yeah, the fucking the din the dungeon. din's pearl or some shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He gives you the pearl, and it's like that's Bobby. Like, Why can't I pull out my sword in here? That's bullshit. Can't pull my sword out here. And anyway, we gotta go talk to fucking Medley. Boom! It's it's, talk... it's Bird Hour. We gotta go talk to the Lolly. Bird over here. Howard. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of, I kind of crushed on this character when I was younger, as in like. I did seven. too, honestly. I loved her. She's really cute. cute. It's like she's just cute. Wait, I'm actually studying. I remember I was so giddy when I got the trophy of her in Brawl. This is from the chieftain. Farts. He wants you to give this directly to Prince Kamali. She gives you the mirror shield, I think. In the. Yeah, that's a late way later in the game. Yeah, same from Ocarina of Time. You accepted father's letter! Oh god, he hates me! He walked out of me to get some cigarettes! Oh, you know it. <laughs> oh, you know. The room way in the back on the first floor is Prince. Okay, fuck you. I know. I, I don't need you to tell me where the fuck to go. I've played this game before. Could you please c come to the entrance of Dragon Roost's Cavern later? She's I'll explain cute. everything then. Don't tell anyone. What a plushie of her. Hey, dude. Uh, I have plenty of links hey, around dude, my room. Me and me and print me and me and her. Me, uh, we're going to the the cavern later. So, uh, just telling you. He's too busy looking at his iPad. He doesn't care. Hey, dude, we're, me and me and fucking girl up there. We're, go, <laughs> we're going. We're going to the cavern later. So don't, don't to tell anyone. Later. Hey, dude, we're going to the cavern later. Don't tell anyone. Okay, it's very it's very Hilarious. important. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> hey, hey, don't. Now. Okay. <laughs> Tell Boomhauer. She said not to tell anyone. Tell oh, Boomhauer. It still smells like smoke in my room because I almost blew up my house with like trying to make <laughs> vomit in my backpack. In real life, there was a lot, like the smoke. entire room looked like I was stoned out of my mind. There was just a puff of smoke in my entire house. And then I like Where opened the door, forgot to close it, and a bunch of flies came in. Hey, kiddo, can I have There's that? Bobby. Can There's I have Bobby. that big nut? There's Bobby! Uh, Bobby. Who are you supposed to Bobby. be? Oh, I gotta give him his shitty letter. Uh, you can't see the gamepad, you uncultured swines. What do you want from me, Dad? Uh, you guys want to do a voice? The letter, Dad. Oh, oh yeah, because I, I do voice, I do a little bit of voice acting. Um, oh man, I'll let you, I'll let you take the wheel from here. Oh sure, telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. So it's not like he still has to go get a scale from Balu. You're in this lair too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Balu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? He's on his fucking period right now, dude. I fucking hate it. I'll tell you what, if you can find... Me, someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost to get to Valu. Then I'll just get in room and play Minecraft. Get the fuck out of my room and play Minecraft! <laughs> so disrespectful oh to talk to your mom that way, but just that video is so fucking funny. Say that was a mom. It could have been fucking a sibling or something. <laughs> or oh, maybe it was a sibling. I hope it was a sibling. Yeah. Because uh, I talk to my brother that way all the time. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm like, uh, you talk to your mom like that, you're going to get a bit slapped. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Don't talk to your parents that way. Don't yeah, fucking more, do that yeah, shit. Moral, yeah, moral of the story. Don't do that. That's where I go. Oh, yeah, this is where I'm supposed to go. Be be good boy. All right, Medley. Uh, can I bash your skull into playing, a uh, Oh, wall? that's possible. I remember. Hey, you actually came. Remember, if you fuck up, you'll break her. You'll give her brain damage. You'll throw it at a wall. <laughs> I yeah. did a lot of this when I was younger. By accident. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Let me throw you at the fucking wall. See, Princess Kamali's grandmother was a great Valu's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored oh, to have her as my teacher. Holy shit! I did not realize we're up to twenty minutes. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Holy We've shit. That of a. 20 of a two-part episode of a show. <laughs> 22 minute airtime. Sure, I'll help you. 
Only so I can end the video now. God damn it. We're already doing that? Oh man, it's already the end. Hold on.